Of the primary three activity types in Moodle, we've talked about assignments and forums, and now we're moving on to quizzes. I have here noted that it says quizzes and tests. The reason is Moodle calls them quizzes, but in, rea in reality, they could be te tests or quizzes. An instructor could use the quiz module to create a final or a midterm, or just an impromptu reading quiz. In this case, we've got an introduction, and you will see in this video how we're going to actually take a test. So you see two sample quizzes here. Sample quiz A, and it says using Moodle, all on one page with password monkey. So I've used a couple different settings here. One of them is that I've chosen to put all the questions on one page, and you could have a quiz with 50 questions on one long scrolling page, or you could, or the instructor could put each question on its own page. And in this case, I've given it a password, and the password is monkey. So let's try this out. You click here, and you have instructions about the quiz and as with everything in Moodle it's a good idea to read a little before you do it so this is saying it's demonstrating some things about Moodle there's no start or end dates you can retake it um, but you have to have a delay of 30 minutes between the second third and fourth retakes so this is important information and you will be able to see the responses um, although a lot of teachers turn that off and the password is monkey so let's give it a try oh and it says also the questions are shuffled as are the answers so these are all settings the instructors have and so depending on the class you're taking and what your instructor likes quizzes will be a little bit different but in general they follow the same format you have your instructions and you start the quiz with this button attempt quiz now notice it also says attempts allowed for and the grading method is the average grade so if I did, in this particular case, I did poorly on one attempt, I could bring it up by doing better on the second, but I could never get full score if I did poorly the first time. So I had attempt quiz now. It says, hey, you get four attempts. You sure you want to count this one? Say yes. And now I need to know the password. And it says up here in the instructions the password is monkey. If your teacher uses a password, he may give it to you in a different form. Say OK. And then here you can see I have one, two, three, four. This whole quiz is just four questions. And at the bottom I have save without submitting and submit all and finish. So save without submitting won't actually finish the exam. It'll just kind of put it on hold. So uh, just for the interest of time, I'm just going to guess a bunch of these. Best way to ask questions about a class. We'll put the class discussion form. The fastest way to get back to the course homepage is the uh, navigation bar. Things you need to look and review are called uh, resources and so then I move right along. And what is Moodle? It's a learning management system but it's also kind of a course management system. It's not a pasta. The M in Moodle stands for Martin. Ah, tricky question. It used to but not anymore so we'll put false. And then uh, where did it originate? and it originated in Australia, but I'm going to mistype it as Austria. So now I hit submit all and finish. It says, hey, you're going to close this attempt. Once you close the attempt, you'll no longer be able to change your answers. I say, OK, here I go. And bang. Now it gives me a review of what I did. It says, hey, you missed a couple here. It's ignoring the ones I didn't even try in this particular case. and. So I've got partially correct on that, and I got a partial score, and also got these two right. So you see the, the ones that are X I didn't check, so I'm looking good at that. Correct, correct, and then I got this wrong because the right answer is Australia. So now I've finished my review and move on back, and it shows me my score. Now again, the teacher can set this up in a number of different ways, so it will not always be exactly this way. I even have some feedback. You might want to review a bit or try again. And I can go back and reattempt the quiz. And that's because this quiz allows multiple attempts. So hopefully you get the general idea. You'll have the questions, you fill them out, you submit them, but do take a minute to read the instructions that your instructor has provided you and look at the buttons and consider your different options.